Would you like to know what the Republican Congress is going to focus on now? Listen to this from Think Progress. Quote, the House is likely to vote on a number of GOP bills this week related to the oil and gas industry, arguably the most sweeping of which is the Federal Lands, Job, Federal Lands Jobs and Energy Security Act. Uh, the bill, introduced by Representative Doug Lamborn, is broad legislation designed to make it much easier for oil and gas companies to obtain permission to drill on public lands. Now, let's pause there and let me just break that down for a second. So what you see is in most other modern nations, and not even modern nations, even second world and third world nations, if there is an oil company or uh, whoever that wants to come and drill on public land and extract natural resources, what do they have to do? Pay the citizens. Seriously, they have to cut a check to all the individual citizens. Here you guys get a couple hundred, a couple thousand bucks, whatever it happens to be, depending on which state you're talking about. In the U.S., when ExxonMobil or Chevron or BP or whatever company decides that they want to extract oil from the ground or some fracking company wants to get natural gas out of the ground, they can go to public land, take out the stuff, and that's it. That's it. They don't have to pay anything. No, you and I don't get a check in the mail. The American people or the people of a given state don't get a check in the mail. And why is it that we don't get paid when they take it from us? Because our government is bought. It is bought and owned by ExxonMobil. So they don't think to actually pay the public when an oil company uses public lands, which is insane. So this makes it even easier for these guys to obtain permission to get this stuff off of our land. If signed into law, the legislation would automatically approve onshore drilling permits if the U.S. Department of Interior failed to act on them in 60 days. So if the government doesn't approve a permit, after 60 days they could just drill away wherever they want. Okay, that's like anarchy. That's anarcho-capitalism where ExxonMobil just goes wherever it wants, whenever it wants, and says, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, you're on the land that I want to use for drilling? That sucks. Get off my land. This is insanity, and this shows you how bought the Republicans are. They're so corrupt, it's, it's dripping from their eyeballs. And then get this, here's my favorite part. If an individual does not like a proposed drilling project and wanted to oppose it, he or she would have to pay a $5,000 fee to file an official protest. They're charging people to protest. That is only exactly what you're not allowed to do under the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. So let me get this right. The conservatives in the Supreme Court and everybody kind of accepts, oh yeah, uh, money equals free speech, which means that whoever has the most money in the United States has the loudest voice in a democracy. So Sheldon Adelson and the Koch brothers can drown out 100,000 average American citizens because they have more money than us. So they don't, our politicians don't listen to us. They're supposed to represent us and they won't. They'll represent the rich because the Supreme Court said money equals free speech. So money equals free speech, but speech doesn't equal speech? Protesting doesn't equal speech? You have to pay to exercise your First Amendment rights? Are you insane? But this is the government that we have now. Go ahead, uh, thank your uh, local Republicans for proposing bills that robs our natural resources from us and doesn't give us any money for it and uh, makes us pay $5,000 to have our voices heard. The corporate states of America is what this is.